I'm going to do a review on um, Mika Bella Cosmetics, or at least um, their mineral foundations. And um, since I haven't really seen any um, reviews for this um, brand or company or whatever, so I thought I'd do one. And first of all, you can get these at like the mall, you know, at those little kiosks down like in the mall, you know, like in the center or whatever. They have um, foundations, um, blushes, and eyeshadows, which I've tried their eyeshadows, which I did a makeup look today. And if you want to see how to do this makeup look, I'll put a link down there and it'll take you right to that. But um, anywho, I've, I've tried their found or their foundations, I mean their eyeshadows, and they have really good pigment pigmentation. <laughs> but, um, okay, first of all, let me talk about the, the foundation. Um, the foundation, it's, is really soft and really, um, what's it called? Finely milled, I guess that's how you say it. I don't know. My color is cappuccino mf5 that's the one that i got and i've had this literally i want to say over a year and a half maybe even two years i've had this for two years and i still have a lot a ton left i don't know if you can tell but i have a ton left and before when i first got this i used it like every day and the thing i like about this is that um when you put it on, it doesn't make your face look cakey, and I like how it feels because um, it's just, it, I feel like I don't ha even have anything on my face, and, um, but there are some little kind of, what are these called, sparklies? I don't know, but like, you know how when like, a really... I don't know. This foundation has some really tiny, like, flecks and stuff. It makes your face look good, not like, it doesn't make your face look totally completely matte, you know? It makes it look like real skin, so when you put this on, it doesn't feel as if your, your face is, like, heavy with makeup and stuff. And, um, what's it called? I have combination to oily skin, so it just depends during the year, and, um, but th when I first used it, I was kind of like iffy about if it was going to make my face really oily or break out or anything, but it doesn't, it kind of, well, at least for me, it kind of keeps the oil, um, kind of under control, if that makes any sense. Um, it doesn't make a face oily at all, it gives it a nice finish like a satin finish I guess that's what it'd be called I'm wearing it on my face right now so it my face doesn't look um too fake at least <laughs> and what's cool about this is that like you can use this foundation or yeah um as a concealer too so you can take like your little concealer brush or whatever and apply it on like your problem areas and stuff which I have a huge um, scar, a pimple scar right here and I, it's kind of covered up oh my eyes all watery okay and on my nose there was some like red blemishes and stuff and you can cover that up first and then with your little kabuki brush or whatever you use go ahead and um, put your your powder on and like it covers it up really well and another cool thing about this is that um, you can build the the coverage. So if you want like a light coverage, just you know, lightly sweep it, and it gives a fairly decent amount of coverage. But if you really want like that um, really dense amount of coverage for some reason, I don't know. I guess you can uh, apply and uh, um, and really build that up. So that's another cool thing. And, um, it doesn't make your face look cakey, obviously, because you can tell my face doesn't look cakey at all, does it? I hope not. But, um, and I don't think it looks like I'm wearing a lot of makeup, at least for my face. I had to put some blush and stuff on, but that's a whole different story. Um, but overall, I would really recommend it. 
but the downside to this, it is a little bit pricey. Um, but it depends on who the representative person is. They can give it to you for a really good deal. Because I know my sister, she got her her foundation powder thing for free. Because she bought um, some other stuff and then they threw in this for, for free for her. And for me, I had to pay for this and I got a whole bunch of eyeshadows for free. So it depends on who you, your representative person is. But... They also have a website, and you get them. You can get this off their website for, I believe, fifty around fifty to sixty dollars. I know it's a little bit pricey, but I think it's kind of worth it. I've tried the other, um, what's it called, Bare Essentials Mineral stuff, and I I don't really like that. I prefer this over the other one better. I I think this gives a little bit more coverage than the other one, but then again, that's my opinion. But um, overall, I would recommend this. So, yeah, if you want me to review any more um, products or anything else, leave me a comment um, or a message here on YouTube and I'll get to it as soon as possible or as soon as I can. So, uh, thank you for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!